Hi, FlossTube. Hi, welcome back. We're so glad you're with us again. That's right. I'm Beth. I'm Susan. And we We're are the, the two, two over two, two stitchers. stitchers. We're finally getting that right. <laughs> Slowly, but man, man, that's a challenge, isn't it? Is. It is. It is. So welcome back for our next episode. We were supposed to film yesterday, but we got snow and it was yucky out. I see. This is and messy. I just didn't want to drive in that stuff. So I, I decided that, you know, waiting and doing it tonight after it's iced over um, and I have to drive in the dark was much better since. Sure, right? sure. <laughs> but that allowed me to spend the whole day in my PJs. So well, that was, I was lovely. Happy and I got a lot done. Did you? Yep. Well, that's so, great. Very good. It's great. We are so glad you are back with us again. We appreciate you watching our videos. Um, we love seeing what other floss tubers do, yeah, and we yeah. hope that we bring some good content to you, some great ideas that you can just sit back and relax and stitch while we chat away. Absolutely, absolutely. So we have a, a pretty full program we I do. think today. We do. Um, Susan's got some previous finishes and a few whips mm -hmm. and some actual finishes that she finished this week yes. right yep. recently excuse me and some haul and I have a boatload of whips and that's so, it we're, so. we're ready to go um, at my house we are full on Valentine's season here um, we have the Valentine's tree up in the corner and it's beautiful Thank I can't you. wait for you to see it so, next um, and I've got little tiered trays and decorations mm -hmm. up so we will do probably our next video once I finish all my Valentine's ornaments, we'll do a little video of the tree. Because most of the ornaments, except for a few little Ray Dunn hearts, are all stitchy ornaments, of course, on the tall tree. So mm -hmm. um, we'll get started with previous finishes. This is called Be Mine. It is by Heart and Hand. And I stitched this on a 28 count Lugana. Mm -hmm. I know I did not use call for threads because I remember it asking for a variegated and I didn't have it. Um, this is flat finished with just, you know, how I glue and stuff. I, I did, couldn't make a bow, so that kind of has like a little funky twirl of stuff. I think it's cute. The back is finished like this. This was on a metal frame and then mm -hmm. this year I didn't like it, so I'm just propping it up somewhere. Uh, in fact, I actually found like one of those old-fashioned plate stands, so oh, I'm going to okay. use that. It's um, cute. This little easel is from Michael's probably a year and a half ago, and I stitched a lot of these little Lizzie Cates to go into it, so even though it's January, we're in February decor. Mm -hmm. um, so a cute little February there, and again, finished as you can see the same way as Be Mine, because I usually... Sh displayed both of them together oh, that is adorable in the same room thank you so it's adorable and you know what i'm not a heart person like okay except for valentine's okay. like if you said do i want a heart-shaped ring or jewelry never ever but right. hearts for okay. valentine's i love so all right yeah wow hmm okay so then we have what's next whips 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 well, okay um, so Beth gets to go first because she has the most. So I'll show this first. So if you recall in our uh, previous video where we talked about organization, I showed you my planner situation. So this is my January filled out so far this month. So yeah, that's right. I have stitched every single day. That's beautiful. So there are, um, I am, as I mentioned in a previous video, I am participating in the Magical School of Stitches They've recently renamed their Facebook group just to Magical Stitches, I think. Um, and so sometimes there are like 200 stitches in this and 200 in that. And two, so I had to work on two or three things in one day in some cases to get all my homework done. And that wouldn't fit in my little square very well. So you'll notice in my empty blocks here, I have some notes and I have arrows to the dates that they went to. It's a good idea. So, But it's working. Yeah. It's working just fine. So I'm not going to do these in any particular order. I'm just going to show you the things I've worked on, okay? And I will admit, this is not all the whips I worked on. However, if all I did was like 100 or 200 stitches on something, I didn't bring it. I'm going to wait until I've got some more progress to show you okay. because there were just so many of them. If I had, would almost have to go through all of my whips to show you everything, and I was like, we don't want to get that carried away again, right? Gotcha. So, all right. So the first one I'm going to show is. Let's see what is this? Oh, 
This is the Pink House Sampler by Plum Street. That's the actual project. And this is my progress. I have Ooh. started on the middle big section of the house right there. So you've got it outlined. I do have an outline going. Awesome. So that's not so bad, huh? Mm -mm. So I worked on this a couple of different days, I think, to get an outline. And I had to finish a little bit of grass down below as well, I think, on it. Okay, so that's book one. Sorry for the noise, folks. Book two is going to be... Uh, Betsy Ross by Crestage Collectibles. This is a full coverage. I have made some really, really good progress on this. I put, I would say, just about a thousand stitches in it. Oh my it. gosh. So I, um, I finished one page wow. and I almost have the second partial page finished. So look at that progress. It actually looks like something. It know. does, doesn't yes. it? Yes. And if you, look just... at the, if you look at the photo here, I'm in this I'm in this corner right here so uh -huh. you can see the little very good so I don't think that that's bad at all that's, that's gonna be nice. ginormous it is gonna be ginormous but that's okay it's gonna be awesome it's gonna look like a regular painted yeah. photo yeah it is it is so I'm really stoked about that okay my next one is And a very cute, so much to love bag. That's right. My heart can rest by, by Blackbird Designs. Um, here's my beautiful bag. Very it's cute. In. It's the only um, actual like handmade, crafty made project bag I own. So here we go. Oh. So I finished the basket and got quite a bit of that. Leaf done, and I don't know if you can tell, but all that vine stuff here that goes up oh, to the yeah. flower finished as well. And that is one over two? That is, yes. One, one over, over two. two on, I think this is a piece of 36 count That's really vintage pretty. pecan or something. I had a sticker in here for it, but it was... That's the best I know, folks. I'm, uh, I'm in the process of making my little project cards for mm -hmm. each one so I can remember. I don't have that process done yet. So, And you know what I'm going to do for a process? Because last night I started to grab stuff and I was so frustrated because most of my project bags don't have a window. Okay. I'm going to look at Amazon. I know that they make those little like key tags that are yep. like white paper. I'm going to buy some of those and label my bags because... I was digging for stuff last night, and my husband was saying, can you keep it down? I'm watching TV. And <laughs> we know how that goes. <laughs> yes, we do. This is Carter House Sampler 1817 by Crestage Antiques. I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see what that sampler looks like. And once again, this is on a piece of 36 count of some sort. Um, here we go. So I got the house done uh -huh. and that next set of row of, of uh, what do you call that, uh, like an internal border uh -huh. or something. Yeah, like, you right? got a lot done on that one. So I don't think I did too bad. And this isn't going to be a super large piece either if you see how big this is. So, okay, so that's one. All right, so I did not work a lot on this next project. However, I wanted to bring it and show it because of my discussion in the whip parade. Box. Yes, I remember. All right, so here's the project. It is called Sunlit Fox by Dimensions. Okay. So if you recall, I thought that I had not highlighted anywhere and I didn't know where I was at. Uh -huh. But actually, I had highlighted, but my highlighting had faded to the point where I couldn't tell oh. it. 
So I've added. And this is right underneath his cheek, basically. It's that bright spot in the middle of the chart. Like, it's almost like his hind leg. Is it his hind leg? Yes, it's yeah. this. Yeah, it's, it's that. this spot right here on him. So, yeah. So you know where you're at. Yeah, That's so I awesome. do. Again, I put, I don't know, two or three hundred stitches in it. Not a lot. But because I wasn't sure if I was even going to be able to keep it, I wanted to make sure I brought it and said, yes, it's a go. It's all good. Good. So I'm really happy with that. Um, this beauty is just about finished. I'm hoping I get it finished before we have our next video. It is Eleanor Rigby by Blackbird Designs. If you recall correctly, I am going to memorialize this with my maternal grandparents. I have I have this edge of the border to finish and then the customized names and I will be done. Yay! So I am really hoping that this will be done next next video. It's great to see the finish line, isn't it? It is, isn't it? And another reason why I want to get this finished is that um, I want to use the rest of this fabric for some of those cottage of the month cottages uh -huh. I need to work on. Um, so I really want to use that. And I won't allow myself to do that until I get it finished. So That's good incentive. That's what I was thinking, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so just a couple more, folks. Just a couple more. Made some really good progress on this. This is Seeking Refuge by the Scarlet House. I don't know if you, you're going to be able to remember where I was at before with this, but basically, I have finished the entire Ooh. bottom border, except for I have a little bit of the white check stuff to do here at the top, and I will be finished. See, this is big. It's so big. That's a in. lot of stitches. It is so far. It is. But I've made some really good progress on it. So, so yeah. Pretty happy with that. Yes, we have a dog. It's Somebody wants attention, but I'm trying, not to, or look, something. I'm trying not to look at him. All right, so I also worked on Scarlet House Autumn Alphabet. Here it is. And what did I do on that, you say? Well, I've almost finished the pumpkin. Wow. My problem is the pumpkin and some of this border here is all the same color. I think I have enough left to finish the pumpkin in that color, mm -hmm. but I don't have enough to finish the border as well. And yes, that's fancy floss. So mm -hmm. I need to take, before I use the rest of it, I need to take what I have over to my local needle workshop, House of Stitches, and figure out if their, what they have is going to match, or if I'm going to have to blend in and unpick some of that, or what I'm going to have to do mm -hmm. to make that work. Yeah. Because I don't have enough. Which is a real bomb as far as I'm concerned. Okay, here we go. This is a piece that I started um, after we filmed the last time. Oh, this is the 1990. Is that the right one? These bars. That's the right one. Here it is. The 1990 Prairie School or Santa. It is this bottom one down here that's got the wood an woodland animals. Aww. I'm doing this on a piece of 20 count dove gray that I coffee dyed. And there he is so far. Oh, he looks awesome. So not too much more to go on him. Hopefully he'll be done as well in the next video. I got a lot done on him. I did, didn't I? Yeah, like, I mean, I think sometimes when people do prairie schoolers, they underestimate the big, mm -hmm. the big chunks of one color. Of course, I think that's with any piece. You underestimate how much yeah. time it's going to take. 
And then my last whip that I worked on, um, I have a goal to get the, if you recall correctly, to get the beard on Santa's Secret finished before the end of the month. And I am getting very close. So as you can see, I'm over here, and it just goes right here to this edge. So maybe a couple more days of working on this, and I'll have this done as well. That's amazing. So, yeah, not too bad. No. I'm, uh, I'm trying to make sure that all of my stitching counts for some sort of points of some sort in the magical stitches sure. thing. So I'd like to get this one done by the end of the month, but that will... I'm probably not going to be able to work on it this week because mm -hmm. they've already released the homework and it doesn't look like it will fit with this. Oh, okay. So I'm going to wait until I get the homework done and if I have time left, I'll work on some of these things that I want to finish. That sounds good. So we're going to pause for a second, clean this off, get Susan's whips, and we'll be right back. Hey folks, we're back. We uh, rearranged a little bit, gave the dogs some more peanut butter, so they should be quiet for a while. Um, we'll go into my whips. I don't have too many because I did some finishes. The first one is Tropical Santa by Mill Hill. This is Tahiti Santa. And um, this was my very first time working on a Mill Hill kit. And now you actually see he's starting to look like a Santa. He's got arms and legs. His shorts are completely beaded. But again, I'm going to take Beth's advice and do all the beading last. So I'm going to keep trying to fill him in as much as possible. He's very cute. I like him. I just, it's slow for me because it's new. Um, my next whip, I actually, this is one that I'm going to concentrate on as well as another Lizzie Kate one for Easter because with Easter a month away, mm -hmm. I do want to get these up. Yeah. This is Fancy That Peep, and it's a little bell pull. And I was fortunate enough to buy this with the mm -hmm. chart and the fabric at the same time. And Today is so cute. Today was the first day I actually took my whole lunch hour, which I'm supposed to do, but most of the time I end up working. Um, so I had the bird done, I had the first egg done, and then, oh shoot, sorry guys. I got all this floss over it. I got most of the purple on the second egg done. I am using fancy floss, so, and this is a 12 count fabric so oh, okay. it's just kind of different for me to work on so are you using two strands of floss too? I'm using two and I probably should have used three because like if you look at the little birdie the little chicken you can kind of see through the egg part the shell but I am going to get some of that fuzzy stuff you know that floss that whisper whisper okay. to make like the chicken have some hair that's what they show on the chart okay. So I'll fuzz them up and then I, you might not notice. And I'm not 100% happy with how light that purple is there. Mm -hmm. What I'm hoping is when I put the pops of pink and yellow into it and it goes on the wall. Well, if not, you could always maybe just backstitch around the outer edge. edge. Yeah, something. Give it some definition. If I didn't like realize it. how dark this fabric was, but I'm going to plow through this one and try and get this one done. That is for really Easter, because mm -hmm. you know I'll want to put it up. Um, I did start a very, and this is a little tiny, tiny start. I started this ornament because when I bought the ornament kit, it actually came with the finishing um, chenille, which, okay, let me, oh, okay. let me pull this out because the chenille is, oh, come on, Susan. Okay, Simple Pleasures uh, by Homespun Elegance. I'm doing the little hoe ornament with the snowman in the middle. Oh, okay. But first of all, look at all this beautiful chenille that came with this. Oh, Another so burgundy pretty. and green to finish the ornaments. So you know that's half the battle sometimes is just finding your finishing stuff. And I got the H done. And that's about it. I was I was watching TV and then I fell asleep. So that was my pajama day yesterday. Um and then the very last one, and I've just done a little bit of work on this. This was supposed to be my work piece, and I'm going to bring it back to work. It is Sam Sarah um, Hope Blooms, mm -hmm. and it uses all 1 through 35 colors of DMC, all the brand new colors. And I'll show you, I did make a little bit of progress on it. I apologize for it still being in the hoop. But I got a few more flowers done. I started on a couple leaves. Um, 
it is easy for me to do at work because everything is just a chunk of color. Okay. So I just have to get moving on it. But I'm, I'm honestly in no rush to finish this, so. That's really cute though. What I get done is what I get done. Um, so let's talk some more finishes. I have been on a smalls kick. Um, so what I don't have fully finished are the next two pieces. This is called Be Mine. And it is by Barbara Anna Designs, and I only have the chart. I believe it was a freebie, but I'm not 100%, so I won't show you the chart. I did change some of the colors. I kind of improvised on some of the stitching, but I'll make that into a little pillow for the Valentine's tree. And then this, I had to retry, I wanted to retry this fabric. Okay. What is this called again? Petite? Petite point, right? Petite point, yes. And this is a... 32 count linen and Beth and I had this long discussion about how you know with the dots printed on it you can't find the right hole and then it kind of looks wonky sometimes so I have a lot of this so I thought you know what this is the cupcake from uh, Be My Valentine from Country Cottage Needleworks and I thought "Ooh, I've got that bubblegum color floss mm -hmm. and I'll just That's do really something cute. it's, it's cute. so tiny and cute and I had to stitch it and I'll put it on the valentine tree that's really um, cute. So then I had this um, idea. This is an original idea that I think is awesome. I love so it. I really do. I had this idea because I love candy hearts. My husband buys them for me. And I thought, wouldn't that be cute if I took fabric colors that were the colors of the candy hearts, stitched words on them, stuffed them, and put them on the Valentine tree. So this is what they look like. Except the very first one that I stuffed and I was showing our group chat it was wonky. It was icky. It was bubbly. The heart was uneven. It was so tiny and I'm not the best sewer with my sewing machine. So like part of the heart going this way looked square. Part of it looked straight. I couldn't do it. And I made eight of them. So what I did, I used pinking shears. I cut the backing fabric that I was going to sew to match the same size. And I used tacky glue. Aileen's tacky glue and I glued them together with the same color ribbon. Here's another little one and you can see they're not perfect. Different I think they're sizes. adorable. But I have eight of them on my little valentine tree and they say everything. I'm looking at it like uh, well we've got kiss me, XOXO, love you, miss you, ask me. So those are my bad attempt at trying to make stuffed hearts and I like them. Well, they, they were turned out adorable. They did. So then I have a couple more for the Valentine tree. This is Roses Are Red by Heart and Hand. And I added little tiny buttons. I think I had this finished. <coughs> did I have this finished last time? I don't recall. No, I showed it to you guys. I showed I, it to the group. I think you did. I'm I showed it to home. the group and I was in my pajamas in the <laughs> in my pajamas a lot. Um, <laughs> I was in my pajamas finishing yeah. during our call. Mm -hmm. So right. That is done for the tree. This is Be Mine by Lizzie Kate. I did not do the outside border and then I stuffed it into a little pillow and I take little pieces of wool and I just make a heart and stitch them on mm -hmm. by hand. And then these I had finished and I decided to just get, I was on a sewing kick. So this is Hooray for the USA. I added some little gold beads. This is also by Lizzie Kate. Here's the backing fabric and this little finishing ribbon. Now, I will tell you, if you like to finish with the back of the wool, I ordered from Lady Dot Creates on okay. Etsy a pound or a half pound, I don't know, of wool scraps. They come in all different flavors, colors. I think it was 20 bucks, but I have a stack like maybe this big of little four inch squares so I can just pick and choose mm -hmm. the colors that match and then the very last one I finished this is spooky time by Lizzie Kate um, the orange fabric is one of my son's shirts that I cut up because mm -hmm. it no longer fit them the chenilles by lady dot <laughs> I love this I love the spider I the love this I made a spider He's adorable. I stitched him gold eyes. I freehand stitched to the back. Let you see him closer. 
the little arms and legs, and I am in He's love adorable. with the spider. I love that. So that's that. And then this sits up in my living room, and this is Love You More by Heart and Hand. And I don't think I used called for colors, but I really like that rosy rosebud mm -hmm. fabric. And it doesn't fit in the picture frame. I just realized that when I stuck it in there. So I might do another piece of backing, like just plain red, to cover that up. Like, I got it wide enough, I didn't get it long enough. Okay. So I might do another, I mean, it takes me, what, a couple seconds, but it would look better, and I might put a bow, I might not, but I got it up, so. I don't think with the, with the flower, flower thing at the it. top that you need a bow or anything on it. I didn't think so, because I think it's, I think that would be too much to have bows and then the flower, and there's a lot going on with that pattern, too. There is, and there's a lot of movement in the border you have around mm -hmm. it, so I don't know that I would add anything other than So I'm maybe. thinking like just maybe a solid pink, just down there, just to fill up the glass, because you know, guys, we do the scotch yeah. tape method. So, yeah, so I just got to tape it on, and then I'll pull it back off. Secrets. That's right. Of display. That's right. Okay. Wow. So, what next? So, you have some haul. I, I have haul. I'm very interested. So, I want to, because you've had all these, right? Yes. These Valentine's things. Have you seen the new Valentine's pieces that um, Stitching with the Housewives has? Priscilla yes. and Chelsea. They are adorable. They are so cute. They, they are, are in my Etsy cart, but I spent money on haul, and then I felt kind of guilty, like, spending more when I already had some Valentine's patterns. So I told myself if I got through some of these patterns, okay. the one I love the best is their little cake. That's the one that I keep, I keep seeing, and yep. I'm like, oh, that's yep. so sweet. So she needs that. I will probably order some, and if I don't do them this year, I'll do them next year yeah. for the tree. But they're very, very cute. Like, what's in, they're what's in my cup series and all my Ray Dunn. I love it. So yeah, I'll probably do those. Um so I do have some haul. Because, Show us what you got. Oh wait, first, yeah. this was the wonky heart, guys. See, like, look at how he he just looks bad. So that's why I <laughs> and I couldn't fill him straight. That's the wonky heart. Hug me. He's just gonna go bye bye. But you can see I can't stitch a heart. So I realize I just put him in there. Okay. So haul. Um. So my kids never participate in any of my stitching. Like, I think they just ignore it. My oldest son and his girlfriend ordered this Disney chart for me from Russia. Oh, that is cool. And it was part of my Christmas present. Wow. And they know I love Disney, too. So I don't know if he bought it for me saying, Mom, stitch it for me or stitch it for you. I will probably add it to my list. I thought it was very nice. I didn't think it was spectacular. My husband and my son both love it. So there we go. I guess I'm going to add this to my pile to start. There you go. Um, this frame okay, I love this. was from Michael's from Christmas. And I got it 60% off. And the jar of flowers like that that Priscilla did with Kathy Haberman with the, you know, yeah. that whole series mm -hmm. of the jar. I'm going to try and do some of those into here. But at 60% off, I couldn't pass it up. Um, this lovely finishing piece is what my, we have a stitchy exchange, and this is a darling little basket that's got an apple, but I think my friend Cami gave it to me as part of my gift to put something here. Okay. And then it's got a cute little basket, so I'm going to figure this out. Oh, isn't that it, is darling? adorable. Very, very cute. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I like it. Um, our friend Beth stitched I forgot all to, of us. I did not bring my little so bring it next time. goodies. Our friend Beth stitched us all little ort holders, mm -hmm. and she knows I love the beach, so look at how cute this got turned. It's adorable. So she made each of us one to match our personalities for Mine's Christmas. Mine's patriotic. And she gave me beautiful floss to go with it. And then our other friends, um, we I think we all just mailed each other floss. I think we just so did. That's cute. It's from my lovely friend Belinda. This is from my lovely friend Carol. And from one of the girls, I can't remember, but thank you for Liberty Color. Then my mom and dad 
Um, I'm so thankful they're still around. They live a mile away from me. They gave me some money for Christmas. Um, Misty at Mystic Fabrics, and it's similar to like Be Stitch Me's Friday Night Games. They She posts on Sundays. Mm -hmm. It's usually 12 noon Eastern time. And um, I didn't even need to look this Sunday. She does it, she usually announces on her page. Okay. Um, I didn't even think to look. So this was right after Christmas, so I pretty much spent my Christmas money on this fabric, but um, this is beautiful. She's a fabric dyer. She does beautiful. These are two fat quarters of Ada. Isn't that navy pretty? Mm -hmm. uh, 16 Ada. Then I got a beautiful pack of Monaco. And I really picked brighter colors because I thought I can find neutrals a lot of places, but not these. This is a true corally pink. That's very pretty. A purple for Halloween or Easter. Um, one nice neutral added in there. And then this lovely, um, this is almost like a cadet blue. It's, it's showing brighter blue, but it's truly, does that look patriotic to you, kind of? A little bit, yeah. Like cadet blue. Um, guys, I'm not buying fabric for a very long time. Um, this is all linen, 28 count. This is a gorgeous Caribbean blue. Mm -hmm. Um, that real pretty corally red, which I think I could do patriotic on, don't you? You know what I think that that would, would look pretty on this is that it's called Spring Fling or whatever. This that big bunny. Oh, yeah. I think that would look great on that. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Beautiful mint green. And that's a true, see it looks blue there, but this is a true minty, minty green. And then a gorgeous soft yellow for kind of Eastery. And then uh, more Ada in a C. Hers is Mystic Fabrics by Misty, just so that you can find it. And this is a beautiful sea glass Ada, again, a true tropical color. Um, I got a nice piece of picture of this plus Heartland and Ada. You know, I kind of switch Ada Linen, Ada Linen in that particular. Um, then Rita Reen's fabric yeah. sales. She had amazing, like I need more fabric, but this was, do you remember if it was either $8 it a was yard? $4 a yard. $4 a yard. 16 count, a yard of 16 count um, gray Ada. A yard of 18 count white Ada. She threw in a little extra. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby looking at cute stuff mm -hmm. for finishing because I had stitched. My cousin doesn't watch this, so I can tell you all. But I stitched her this cutest little hummingbird and a flower, and I'm looking for a frame. Couldn't find anything. But then I went to the Easter aisle, and I know these are going to get eaten up as soon as Priscilla and Chelsea do designs because the Christmas ones did. These are the little bunny buttons. Those are cute. And if you use your 40% off coupon on your phone, instead of $2.99, they're $1.60. Um, I found these lovely pre-cut yeah. wooden. I love those for finishing. Because you've used these, haven't you? They're just yes. little pieces of soft wood, but you can um, put uh, I, batting, well, right? Well, right, but why I like these better is that um, I don't, when I finish something, I really tug and pull at my fabric yes. to make sure it's stretched really well. And I'm always like, inevitably, I'm bending the edge of that uh -huh. sticky board or whatever. I agree. And these don't do that. They don't give. So I like that better. Especially on rounds. It's hard to get yes. rounds nice and even. Right. So those were Hobby Lobby. And then um, this was a lovely little chart that... Um, Cammie gave me my Christmas present because she knows I love candy corn. I know some people love it or hate it. I love it. Um, and then these two charts, a couple charts, another Sam Sarah. I thought that was cute. cute. Now I have the fabric to work on it. Um, I love fancy that. I I just wish they were still designing. I love this little folks, folk art lady, Liberty. And mm -hmm. if I do her, I'm probably going to change her hair to dark like mine. She's cute. She's very really like cute. Her. And then I found this Prairie oh, Schooler with the one. small ornaments. This is St. Nicholas too. And like I was really lucky. I got this on Stash and Load for like four bucks. 
Yeah. Look at how cute that is on the back with that sailboat. Yeah. It is adorable. Super cute. So, a lot of haul. I'm probably not going to get any more haul for a very long time because God knows I don't need any more. But I know my parents like for me to mm -hmm. show what did I spend the Christmas money on and yeah. nothing makes me happier than cross-stitch stuff. So, right. I showed my mom and dad all the fabric they bought me. There you go. That's so awesome. So, I was excited. It's exciting. I might have a little haul come next time. I have a, my eye on a couple of things that Good. I wanted it, uh, one, two, three stitch that I had to notify me on. Awesome. They have that nice feature if they don't have it in, they'll, it'll email you them when yes. it comes in. So I'm waiting on a couple of those things that will likely be Christmas gifts for Christmas. Okay. So, so plans, what are your plans? What are you going to work on? Ted, what are your plans? Hi, Ted. Um, His plan is to see more peanut butter. Teddy's happy eating peanut butter. Um, my plans are I would like to finish up my Valentine's mm -hmm. little minis. Okay. By the time by the time we film again, I want to be done with Valentine's and I want to be full start into Easter. Okay. Because um, Lent begins on Wednesday, February 17th. So I will probably decorate my house for Easter then or that weekend right afterward because... Easter. So some, when I decorate my house, some holidays are full house. So that's Christmas, Halloween, and Easter are full house, meaning the whole main floor. I do every room. Valentine's, patriotic, summer with sunflowers. I just do my dining room, living room. Because A, I don't have enough, and B, it's too much effort. to. I can't do the Priscilla's. Yeah, switch, right. switch, switch everything. I mean, as beautiful as it is, and would I love to be able to do right. that? Absolutely. Right. Um, but I'm just not there yet. Okay. So I'm probably going to go full force into Easter and really, I might pull out my stitchy Easter stuff and see what do I have and if there's any smalls I want to start for Easter for the Easter tree. Okay. All right. So um, my plans, uh, well, first of all, big first thing is that um, Wednesday, 20th, is inauguration day. Oh, yeah. So I will have an inauguration start. I should do that. So I'm going to start um, a new constellation by Plum Street. Um, and I'll bring I should start a patriotic, shouldn't I? It's up to you and what you start. My 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 decision making for what I was going to start for that day is this. I had um, one of the Facebook pages that I follow um, had a, someone had, had stitched that it's like a really worn looking American flag. Okay. And it is from a leaflet called the civil war that uh -huh. was published like in the late eighties, early nineties. Okay. And I, at one point had that leaflet and wanted to stitch everything in it because there's also some Union and Confeder Confederate guys on a horse and some other really Civil War kinds of pieces. Sure. And I'm a big Civil War buff, okay? Uh -huh. um, because I fe personally, I feel like that was just a major turning point in our country. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm not one side or the other. It's not about that for me. It's just about that time period for me was really the history, cool, right? So... Um, so anyways, I made a comment because the, it looks beautiful and somebody, someone else said they had the chart and they would give it to me if I wanted it. I actually had three people say that to oh, me. Oh, nice. So one lady from California um, sent me the chart and I had planned on starting that flag at, on inauguration day. Mm -hmm. However, when I got to looking, I had hardly any of the called for colors in my stash and I'm, you know, since I'm not working right now, I'm being very frugal about that. And um, I had a couple of other patriotic things that I had all completely kitted up. Uh -huh. And one of them happens to be a new constellation by Plum Street. Nice. So I have the nice fabric and everything for that. So I thought, that's what I'm going to start instead. That's a good idea. So um, I'm starting that on Wednesday. But this week for me is going to be a big patriotic week because magical stitches were the homework for that. I have to do a thousand stitches and my oldest whip. Oh, wow. And believe it or not, my very oldest whip is the whip that I started on January 1st, 2019, which happens to be 
let freedom ring. Oh, Susan's favorite. Yay. <laughs> and Good. one of my favorites. Good. So I'm going to uh, work on that pretty much, those two projects for most of the week, I would suspect. Um, once I get uh, my thousand in for let freedom ring, I am going to try and pick up um, probably Eleanor Rigby and see if I can get that finished. Mm -hmm. And then I have a question. Listen up. I'd like to have a response, folks. Next weekend is 24 hours of cross stitch. So I'm going to participate. I haven't decided if I'm going to be on team sleep or not yet. I haven't made that choice. But what I'd like to know from viewers is, <laughs> would you like to see like a uh, condensed when I'm finished with the 24 hours, like a condensed video that's got me make showing my progress every hour. It kind of like Jen Quirks and Stitches, the leader does, mm -hmm. so to speak. Would you like to see that? Would you not like to see that? What's your preference? Um, if I do that, though, fair enough, right? I will likely be in pajamas sometimes. <laughs> There's okay. nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to warn you right now. It might not even be seeing my face. It might just be a hover over the piece. We should make two over two stitchy pajamas. We should. We should. I'm going to get my son working on that. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. We have some friends stitches. that have crickets. Cricket circuit, yes. however you, however you say that, right? Yeah. So we could probably get that finished, get that accomplished. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, let me know what you, if you'd like to see that or not, um, because I'm game cool. if you're interested, so to speak. But That's I don't want to do it if one or two people only want to do it. Yes, it is this coming. this coming weekend. Okay. Which means starting midnight Thursday night through midnight Sunday night, oh my we God. have that much time. To stitch for 24 okay. hours. And for me, I'm going to say this. I'm not like some people. 24 hours for me doesn't mean it's an hour long and I've stitched for 10 minutes. Uh -huh. It means that I have stitched for an entire hour. Wow. I think we are moving my daughter this weekend. I think. It depends on the weather, you know. I mean, we don't have to move her far. It's just like 10 miles between the, yeah. her old house and the new house. But that might impinge on my stitchy time <laughs> if I'm moving well especially since you work it's yeah. not like yeah yeah but still how cool I should yeah I'll do part of it so 24 hours is this weekend um so that's pretty exciting and then uh there was something else uh it went out and uh -huh. wave out there in the world somewhere um what else is happening Oh, we will likely film again, what is it, the 30th, I think, or 31st? Yes. Right? Something like that. That yep. Sunday will typically be when we're going to film again. Um, so we'll have another update then. If I do a 24 hours of cross-stitch video every hour, I likely will not then include that in our next video. Uh -huh. That will be kind of separate. That's awesome. From everything else that we're doing. Awesome. Okay. Um, so we, oh, that's what I was going to remind you of. We need 500 subscribers, please. Yes. <laughs> subscribe, share with your friends, let them know to come over and check us out and subscribe. When we get to 500, we are going to do a lovely giveaway. Absolutely. Um, that will be pretty nice, I think. Um, and let us know what you like about our content. If we're yeah. spending too much time on one thing or another, or if you would like to see more of certain things or less of certain things, yeah. um, we're here for you. We appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend an hour with us. And Definitely. we hope you enjoy our content. And um, we look forward to the next time that we see all of you. Yeah, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. We hope you have a great time and uh, enjoy some stitching. Bye, everyone. Bye.